Hi, this is John Fuley here at the Corner Butcher Shop at 2359 Foothill Boulevard in Laverne. And we're here in honor to help support the San Dimas Chamber Virtual Beer and Wine Walk 2020, otherwise known as the Year of the COVID. But we have some great steaks, great chops, great seafood, and all of that. What we're going to talk about today is doing some pairings between our fine meats and some of the fine wines that we stock here at the Butcher Shop. So first off, this would be our prime tomahawk ribeye chop. So basically it's just a ribeye steak with a nice long bone for a bone-in ribeye. And then this chop, you can use it, you know, use it as a, uh, you can hit your wife over the head with it. You can use it as a uh, eating mechanism, whatever you want. And since that's got a lot of marbling and a little bit of fat in it, you're gonna wanna pair it with a heavy wine which we have, for me, I would think you'd want the Westerly Cote de Blonde, which everybody goes, hey, John, that's that's white wine. And I'm like, no, it's not. It's 97% Syrah. It has a 3% Vignolet, which is white, just to temper down the Syrah a little bit. But this would break down the tannins off that ribeye just to tack. All right. So the next is our fine Curabota pork chop. Boned in, Kiribati is a uh, happy, healthy pig that runs around, eats walnuts and grass all day, is never in a pen, isn't like the Farmer John pigs. So that's gonna be a fantastic pork chop right there. And for that, since it's a little lighter meat, I'd like to use the uh, Bellato Pinot Noir, which comes out of Santa Rita Hills, which I believe produces some of the finest Pinot Noir in the country. Okay, so that's a nice subtle wine for a nice subtle pork chop. Then finally, what we'd like to show you today are our prime grade tri-tips, which is kind of like a little roast. Have a little fat on there to help it uh, get some good flavor and some, some tenderness while you're cooking it on either on your smoker or on your grill. And then on that one, since it's gonna be more, have a little more char and a little more smoke, I'd like to recommend the Bell Syrah. It's a little peppery. It should go real well with the barbecue sauce or steak sauce or any of the pepper that you're going to put on your tri-tip when you grill or smoke it. So if you have any questions, come on down, give us a call. We're going to cook up some steaks and we're going to show you how they look up against this wine. Alright everybody, so I just want to also let you all know that we do a lot of barbecue here. We also have tips, so if you have questions on how to do your barbecue in your own yard, you can always come and talk to our pit master here, Tyler. How's it going so, guys? There we go. Welcome on to the Corner Butcher Shop. Uh, besides all the wonderful raw meats that you guys have heard about, we do lots of cooked meats here as well. We use multiple different types of smokers to get you guys some of the freshest brisket, tri-tip, ribs, pulled pork, all that good stuff you need in your barbecue world. So. Don't ever hesitate to come on down. How's it going guys? Hey, beyond the uh, raw meats and cooked food that we serve for you guys, we also carry lots of products you can use for your own barbecue in your backyard. We carry mesquite charcoal, regular charcoal, we carry wood chips and wood chunks for all of your smoking needs. So don't ever hesitate to come on down, ask us some questions, see what we got in stock. We all know yeah. We carry our own proprietary rubs, our magic dust, our prime rib rub. Stuff you're not going to want to miss out on, guys. This is high quality, custom made rubs you can use in your backyard to get this flavor at home. Alright, so we talked about our Caraboda pork chop. Well, here's what it looks like once you put it on your grill or our grill. Look at that. What do you like on the hot dog? So, of course, we want to pair that with something a little more subtle. We talked about a Pinot Noir. We also talked about a rose. We have both. So, and I also know the San Dimas wine shop's got them. Third Street wine shop's got it. So, between us or them, 
you will get yourself a great pairing with great wines and some great meat for your friends and family. So once again, we had a pork chop, we talked about the tomahawk, so we got the tomahawk, this came fresh off the grill, just like Tyler talked about with some fantastic rubs, using some great lump charcoal and some smoke if you want to add a little extra flavor to it. So let's see what this looks like as we cut into it. Let's just cut right down that middle. Uh oh, let's see. Drum roll, because we never know. Never know. Oh, that's about perfect. That's, you would say, mmm, mmm, that's a good steak right there. And of course, something with a little more fat, a little more meat. You want a little bigger wine, something with some tannins in it to help break the fat that's in your mouth. That's what the tannins help you do. Thank you. So we've been here in Laverne for about 13 years and we've been or become a real integral part of people's uh, birthday celebrations, their holiday traditions, uh, you know, weddings, unfortunately funerals, but we've just have become a huge part of the community here in Laverne after we've been open for about 13 years. One of the reasons we decided to open here in Laverne is because well, we both, my brother and I, live here in Laverne. I've lived here over 20 years now. And we always figured that a place with good food is a, really at the core and the center of a nice, good, solid food. So we do things like support the San Dimas and the Laverne local chambers. We have supported youth sports. We've supported the high school teams. We've done some stuff with the University of Laverne athletic program. So we just tried to do the right, what well, we were raised to believe was the right thing to do as a business person in a community. So also, some of the things that we carry that some people are thinking, well, what makes you different than the Stater Brothers, the Albertsons, and the Bonds in the, in the town, is that all of our meat is certified Angus beef, prime grade, most of our beef comes out of Nebraska, all of our chicken comes out of Central Valley, our pork comes out of Iowa, we know where things are coming from, we know mostly the people who are raising our food, and all of that sort of thing, whereas I don't think Vaughn, Stater Plus, Costco, or Sam's Club could necessarily say those things. So we just figured that uh, if we give the community a chance to get some high quality food, then there'll be high quality events. Thank you. And finally, what we had talked about was that prime tri tip. So you should probably grill or smoke that from about 45 minutes to about an hour and a half depending on the size of the tri-tip and the temperature you're working with. But here we have some that we put it on our smoker for about two and a half hours because we do a lot more than one at a time. Sliced it, got a little smoke rings, got a little of our barbecue sauce on there. With that kind of steak, I think you want something that's gonna have a little bit of a bite. We talked about the Syrah. This is a Bell Syrah, which comes out of the Sierra Foothills. Uh, probably it's fire country right now, but it's a really good bottle of wine with uh, some good barbecue meat. Hanger steak, skirt steak, tri-tip. That's what I would put with the Syrah. And then also, let's not forget, for your beer people out there, we do a lot of local beer, especially with San Dimas' own High Point. Brewing Company. They have several flavors. They're in 16 ounce cans. So come on down and pick up your beer. We also have beer from guys like the Laverne Brewing Company, Claremont Craft Ales, uh, and Old Stump in Pomona. So we help support the local breweries. We do a lot of good things with the High Point people in San Dimas. We also, since it's getting to be that time of year, we're Michigan boys. We got Bell's Oktoberfest here. So We've got what you need. Come on down to the corner butcher shop. So we've talked about steaks. We've talked about rubs and lump charcoal. We've talked about chicken and pork. 
talking about one-stop shopping, vegetables, potatoes, mac and cheese. But what would top off your entire evening with your family, your loved one, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, whatever you guys call each other these days, I'm getting to be an old man, so I'm really kind of hot to that, bro. I guess they call them significant others or something like that. So we have dessert, and we have the best dessert from Michael Virgil's Modern Mayhem. Michael makes it in-house. We have pies, we have brownies, we have fudge. And if you want that special, special dessert for a wedding, just call Michael and he'll make it to order. We also would then have some sweeter wines to go with your sweet treat. A little sangria, a little bubbly, and of course, the world famous Tommy Lasorda from the Dodges makes wine now. So there you go. We had also talked about the other beers that we have. Some Old Stump, some Laverne Brewing Company, and the Claremont Craft Ales. All would be a great little sweet treat after you have a great steak from Corner Butcher Shop.